Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, Chums, for you guys out there in the viewers, I'm going to go on search for some Echo Camps. Now, I've done the Traces of Metal, I've also done the Purge, so I'm thinking, hopefully, I'd get a new mission on side of here. Mm, but I haven't, as yet, heck no, but I have actually done everything I need to do to actually trigger this sort of new mission to appear so let's jump inside of the ship and let's fly up into sky and let's see if we can get the mission to trigger so all we need to do is after doing the traces of metal is do a warp jump apparently and it's supposed to trigger some sort of mission those who have returned or something like that so let's just jump to a dissonant system i'm going to a dissonant system because if it doesn't auto trigger there is a way to force it to trigger so let's head on down to here in a dissonant system right so i'm not too sure exactly what i'm expecting to happen to signify that the mission has started i was thinking maybe some sort of communique or something like that it doesn't look like we've got much coming in so you know what let's see if we can get it to a manually trigger by going to a dissonant planet okay i might have to ask exo for a little bit of help in a moment i'm trying to find it where's a dissonant blinking planet in this system i'll find it and i'll reconvene with you once i've found it oh there we go dissonance detected let's head on down it's a bubbling planet heck yes okay well this is looking kind of interesting you know what let's ask exo well hello there exo I'm looking to try and find myself a harmonic camp, the camps of the autophage. I've gone to a dissonant planet. How do I go about finding one? Hello, Captain Steve. To find a harmonic camp, the camps of the autophage, follow these steps. Locate a dissonant star system. Use the galaxy map to find a star system with the subtext dissonant. These systems are where you'll find the necessary planets. Scan for dissonance. Once in a dissonance system, scan the planets to find one with dissonance in its tooltip. This indicates the presence of corrupted sentinels. Defeat corrupted sentinels. On the dissonant planet, look for corrupted sentinels. Defeating them can drop an echo locator, which is essential for finding harmonic camps. Use the echo locator. Activate the echo locator to pinpoint the location of a harmonic camp. It will show up as a yellow sentinel symbol on your map. Explore the harmonic camp. Once you arrive, interact with the harmonic interface to unlock various rewards, including multi-tools and access to sentinel interceptor crash sites. Good luck on your quest, Captain. If you need further assistance, just let me know. Well, okay. Well, that seems to be that we've been given everything we need to know. So I just need to take out some sentinels. Righto. So let's um, get my pulse spitter ready. Got some ammo. Do I need more ammo? Let's have a quick crafting session of ammo, shall we? Yeah, let's grab a load of that. Done. Okay, let's just take on out these and let's see if we get one of these resonators or whatever we're after. Okay, take that, you. Apacha! Take that! And more of that! And some more of that! Boom! We've got inverted mirrors from that guy. All right, well, these guys don't seem to be too bothered about trying to attack me. Let me just make sure I'm actually in the right difficulty setting on this. No, I'm in custom. Let's just hit it back into normal. I think it's just a few fishing things that I tweaked, but let's take out these. And they still don't seem bothered about me. No, I've just set them on fire. Oh, there we go. Now we've got their attention. Coolio. And I guess it's just unleash havoc on these guys. And hopefully... I'm going to get what I'm after. Pop. I guess. Come on, then. I guess. Right. And I'm just going to take out wave after wave of these guys, and let's just hope something happens. What's this thing? What the fudge is this? Okay. I don't know what it is. I'm going to shoot it. Well, that's not done nothing. We'll have a better look at that in a moment. I'll just take out all these sentinels and uh, hopefully we get what we're after. I'll reconvene when I've done a lot of damage, all right, people? Take that, you! Take that! Stop freaking repairing him! Okay, right, we're up to level four now. Just waiting for them to come in. Where are the little gits? Come on! Oh, there's one. Okay, all right, let's. Um, I think hitting these ones with a paralyzed mortar, like so. Gives you a little bit of a head start on them. 
And if they go and, you know, cloak themselves, hitting them again with a paralyzed mortar seems to bring them back into life. There we go, boom. Take out all of these guys. Well, you can have a paralyzed mortar as well. There you go. How'd you like them apples? Ah ha ha! Take that. And that's and that's. Boom. Kaboom. Kaboom. Okay, right. Let's pop that, get my shields back. Done. Okay, any more for any more? Oh, yeah, there's loads of them. Look, loads of little gits. Oh, no, actually, they're not. There's one all the way over here. It's freaking miles away. Let's get him. Take that, you crab spider. Boom. Missed. Got him then. Zappity zap, zap, zappity zap. Oh, great. Game over, spider. Pop. Okay. Um, where's the rest of them? Oh, they're all the way over here. Thought I'd be cheeky there and do an air shot. Missed though, didn't I? I gotcha. Yeah, what are you going to do now? Oh, you're going to hit me with a flamethrower, are you? I'll take that. Pow! Any more for any more? Okay, we've got some flying sentinels now as well. These ones repair each other, so they can be a little bit of a git. And they erect shields, which can also be a bit, be a bit annoying. Take that, you! Chikapow! Okay, I don't think I've got much further to go, but I'll reconvene in a moment. Okay, so this is now the maximum level. I still haven't had one of the um, the signal beacony things turn up yet. So here we go. Let's just get this guy. Take that little spider. And you. Oh no. And you. Boom. Happy chow. Oh, we just got a new subscriber. G O C L C. Welcome aboard, chum. I guess. Okay. Boom. Take that, you. I'm shooting my own ship. What the fudge? Something just shot me. There's some sort of invisible spider around here somewhere. Alright, take that. Maybe it was just him then. Oh no! There's something bigger around here somewhere. Not that I can see the dang thing right now. Let me get this guy. Take out the little ones first, because I can see them at least. There he is. Right, now he's visible. I'm going to hit him with a paralyzed mortar. Shoot him a couple of times with this. I bit me! He freaking bit me! Okay. I'll tell you what, it's harder to see these cloaked freaking spiders on this bubble planet. There we go, got that. Well, I've got a badge for fighting these git bags, but we've got crystallized heart. We haven't as yet. I don't think we've finished the last wave. They haven't disabled yet, have they? So let's just keep going. Take that, rusty git bag. He's done. I think this is just going to give me a sentinel ship, though. I don't think this is going to give me an echo camp, but we will see. We, sh we need a bit of technology, the echo locator. And I, I can't remember how you actually go about getting it. And the instructions that EXO gave, I don't think is the full story. I'm fairly sure that there was an expedition that brought in the, ex the Echo Camps. The Singularity, I think it was called. And obviously, I can't do that. So hopefully there's a way to get them just to appear in-game without doing the expedition. And that's what I'm trying to achieve right now just by random killing of sentinels. I mean, this could be a completely pointless venture, but we'll see. We'll see if I can work it out, people. Take that. Well, if not, I'll just have to change the title of this to get in my first sentinelized ship. Take that, because I'm definitely going to get one of those, I think. Ah! Keep away! Need to replenish my shields. Let's pop that canister over there as well, if we can. Ah, I missed it. Okay. Oh, 
I don't think there's anything bigger at the moment. Oh, actually, something just hit me in the side that felt a little bit big. Where do you go? We get that kind of stuff. There's something around here. It's, it's freaking cloaked, though. There he is. Got him. There's something even bigger. There's something bigger around here. Okay, we also, we've got another little spider here. They're quite hard to spot, aren't they? On this planet with purple crystals everywhere. Camouflage little git bags, aren't they? Okay, there's a bigger one over on the hill, I see it. That's probably what's been taking crafty shots at me all this time. Well, you, you crafty little sneaky man, sneak sneak. Right, let's pop this. Let's just pick it up. Where'd he go? There he is. Take that! Yeah. Reload! Budge and reload! Got him. And you, you can, you can get gone. Heck yes. Come on, that's got to be it. Nope, still going. Jeez, man. Jeez, Louise. I'll take that in the face. We've got crystallized heart there. What the? I would have thought they would have shut down by now. This is insane. Take that. Well, at least you can see how long it actually takes people inside the VFS. This is um, a fun one. Oh, I thought I hit him with a paralyzed mortar, but I'm actually out of paralyzed mortars now. I completely need to recharge on that one. Let's see if we can get that done. There we go. Any more for any more? Come on. Well, not getting attacked by anything. My wanted level seems to have vanished. I can hear like what sound like sentinel noises, but I'm not seeing any. Hmm. Let's see if I got gifted anything. Did I get gifted anything? Well, we got the crystallized heart. We didn't get given any sort of sentinelized bits and bobs. Hmm, this is very odd. Maybe there's one sentinel still about that I haven't managed to kill. It doesn't say that they're after me anymore, though. I think it's bugged out. I think it might have bugged out, people. Let's go attack this sentinel thing over here, one of these inverted mirror guys. And let's see what that does. Oh, look, my wanted level's gone back to freaking zero. Oh, that sucks. Oh, here we go. Echo locator. All right. So I guess you just need to take out those inverted mirror guys and then you get an echo locator. Well, we've got it anyway. So let's um, let's go hit that up then. Echo locator. Resonate. No harmonics detected. OK. Well, let's get out of here then. Let's see if we can get this to shut down. OK. Well, look, there's another one just there. Shall I zap that one as well, do you reckon? Let's do it. I mean, I've got another inverted mirror there. I guess it's just sheer luck when you get one. But I got one. Took a lot of killing, but I got one. Okay, right. Let's uh, just get away from these sentinels quickly. Let's call in my ship. And let's see if we can get an echo camp here. If not, we'll have to go to another dissonant system. How weird's that, though? Let's try that one more time now that I'm in my ship. No harmonics detected in current system. All right, well, let's go to another dissonant system. Let's see if we can get a bit luckier somewhere else. OK, so here's the galactic map. And all I need to do is go around and where it says water, it should say dissonant. 
Let's see if we can find one. Water, water. This could take a little while. It didn't take a little while last time, though, did it? We found one almost immediately. There's one. But you see there, it says our data are unavailable all the way across the board. I'm wondering whether we might get the same problem there. But we'll go there anyway and we'll take a look, see, shall we? I guess we're on our way. Right now, well, I've arrived, Kated. Let's see if this works, shall we? So here we are. No harmonics detected in current system. Okie dokie then. I did wonder because it had like, you know, the whole thing across the board there. So I'm hoping to see one that's got like a little bit of economy going on, but is also dissonant. I keep looking and when I find one, I'll let you know. Okay, Jonathan, we've got one here. It's dissonant and you can see that it's got economy. It's a Viking system. Really, I wanted a Corvax one. Really, I wanted a Corvax system. And there's a reason why I wanted a Corvax system, so we can probably find ourselves a really cool multi-tool. We might have to leave that for a little bit later. We'll go there first of all. Let's see if the dissonant works here. Oh, fudge. We've hit a freaking battle in space. It's not going to let it work until that's out of the way. Okay, can I just fly in the station and get rid of this? I wish you could just say, no, not interested, leave me the fudge alone. But no, you can't, can you? Okay, right, the, sense, the station is somewhere around here. It doesn't even put the station on your actual radial map, you see that? I had to try and find it on the top bar. Bit of a pain in the neck. Let's fly in the station, let's see if we can shake this freighter battle. Because I've got no interest in doing it. Heck no, I've got an awesome freighter already, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, now I've landed, I'm just going to fly on out. And rather than fly towards the freighter battle, I'm going to fly away from it, over this way. Okay, now hopefully I'm not hooked up in it anymore. Okay, right. Now I can go into here, into there. Let's try. There we go. Harmonics detected. Sweet. And we're going to follow this little icon here. Hopefully we're not going to get pulled into that freighter battle again. Let's fly on down to our first Echo Camp, people. At least I think it's an Echo Camp. I hope it is. And then hopefully we'll get a whole new mission around unlocking autophages. Be pretty darn freaking epic if we do. Let's head on down then. Come on. Look yours. Is this an, an approximate location or is it a bang on location? Let's hope it's bang on. Oh, yeah, it is. It is bang on location. All right, here we go then. This is our first harmonic camp, people inside the view of us. Sweet. We've arrived. Let's interact with stuff. Oh, yeah, cool. We've got void moats. Oh, cool. Oh, it's actually sealed at the moment. We have to do a little quiz. Let's hit this up then. Cool, our shells are consumed by fire. Our minds purged by betrayal. Banished to the glass beneath. Forgotten by creation. But no longer. We are given life. As Sweet. Okay, Peggy. One second, people. Righto, here we go. The terminal repeats this message. Endless. A loop had chanted out across its circuits. A strange interface glows with a familiar sequence. Okay, scan memory registers. Register, okay, 22 minus 6. Okay, 22 minus 6. Yes, oh my days. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It's going to be 16, isn't it? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. Yes! So 16... 2 plus 4 is 8, 16, 8, 10, 16, 8, 12, 16, 8, 12, 16, 8, 12, 16, 8, 12, 16, 8, 12, okay? 16, 8, 12, 16, 8, 12, so we need 16, 8, and 12. There we go. I should do the trick. Go on. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I get it wrong? Now let's just go into here again. 
Okay. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah. Yeah, so that's 16. 8. Ah! 16, 6, 12. 16, 6, 12. I got it wrong. 16, 6, 12. 16. And this one is wrong. Remove glyph. And it should be 8. Oh no, 6. 16, 6, 12. There we go. That's right now. That's right. Isn't it? Can't be. Alright, let's try it again. No, not that one. Scan memory. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. 16, 6, 12. Yeah, 16, 6, 12. Okay, let's just try it again. Okay. 16. 6. And 12. 16, 6, and... Ah. Oh. What did I, how did I do that? 16, 6, 12. There we go. Mental. There we go. A money and dear wait you. Lift lock down. There we go. Done, dilly, and done. Ooh. We got ourselves a new backpack. An exclusive. Oh, brilliant, eh? Okay, is this unlocked as well now? Can I get into this? No. Okay, let's give that another shot. Dum 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 dum. Deactivate multi tool. Sweet. So now I can take this, right? Let's have a look at it first, if I want it. It's a C-Class. Do I get it for free? Well, yeah, I'll take it for free. I would have it for free. Extra multi-tool. Not that I want it on my person right now. Heck no. So I'm going to be using this one still, I think. Lovely jubbly. Let's head on over to here. Let's go and interface with this little Echo guy. Yeah, feed it Atlantium. Coolio. And I think that's... Is that pretty much it? Yeah. I think we've done everything here. I'll just go around and double check that I haven't missed anything, I suppose. Coolio. I'll just go and raid all of these, I guess. Um... I don't think there's anything else I've missed here. Done all the wheelbarrows. The only thing I haven't done is hit up the sentinel location of a ship. Locate dissonant spikes. There we go. But we haven't been given the echo locator. At least I don't think we have. we we'll head on over there in a second, I guess, can people, but... You know, there should be all the autophages around here. I should be able to install a nice bit of technology that lets me scan for them. And I'm not seeing it there. Let's try on the multi-tool. Okay. Waveform recycler. Scanning. Mm, okay, that's not it. And we've got the survey device. And that's not it. Let's go to all for a second. Let's see if there's anything on here that I'm missing. Cloaking device. Nope. I don't think it's that. That's just scan radius. All right. Okay, very odd. Well, let's head on over then. To the site that's been located, which is the Sentinel ship. But now we've found our first echo camp. Maybe now, after I do a warp jump, maybe then it's going to trigger. But anyway, I'll see you at this echo camp. Okay, well this is going to be my first Sentinel ship. That's how a quick look, see? So I've already got a Sentinelized sort of looking multi-tool. And now I'm going to be picking up a Sentinelized looking ship. It's a bit orange for my liking, but, you know, it'll do. Let's have a look, see? I'll take out all these bits and bobs. They might actually help me in fixing it, to be fair. Pilot interface. We've got the inverted mirror. We need some more radiant shards and we need a harmonic brain. 
Okay, let's head around here. Let's see what we can find. Hello, Autophage. How are you? Feed it some Adelantium. Hmm, I was hoping that would give me the harmonic brain, but it didn't. Okay, alright, so I guess we need to find those bits and bobs. The Radiant Shards I should be able to find quite easily. They're denoted by sort of like markers like say there there we go there's a radiant shard and i think i need what three of these okay right i'll use my mining beam and all you do is just zap them so let's head on over let's just zap the first one and show you what i mean happy chow come on up we go captain steve uh oh missed it missed it oh. Too far away. Ow! How's this flora just whipped me? Okay. Come on. Jump! Jump some more! And some more! Hiya! Oh no, we need an advanced mining laser. Have I not got the advanced mining laser inside my multi tool already? Haven't got a lot of slots free, to be honest. Oh, where's my. Well, there it is there. Combat scope. I can get rid of the combat scope. Advanced mining laser. Let's see if we can put it in. Advanced mining laser. There it is right there. We get that hammered in. But to get the wiring looms, I've got to go back up to the station. I could already craft these two things. I'll tell you what. Leave it with me. I go up to the station. I get the wiring looms and I come back here. You don't need to see all that sort of shenanigans, do you? Okay, jumps. Here we go. Let's uh, crack on. There you go. There's my first radiant shard. Gotta find another one. There's a radiant shard there. It's telling me there's another one right here, though. Aha, there. 200 and something years away. Let's do a leaping jump over here. It freaking isn't. It's underground if it is. Well, this is weird. I don't think I've ever had to dig underground to get a radiant shard before. Freaking random, isn't it? Alright, well, we're doing it. It says it's reached, but it's it's actually underneath bedrock. I'm not going to be able to get that, am I? Unless I use my neutron cannon, maybe. It's got a big blast radius. Not ideal. There we go. We've got our Radiant Shard in the end. That was really, really random. Oh yeah, it's going to take me a while to get out this freaking hole now, isn't it? Yeah, I'm stuck. Alright, come on. Let me out. Hey, I'm out. Well, that wasn't harder than it needed to be, was it? Okay. Next one. Next Radiant Shard. Oh, there's some over here. Let's go get those. Hold on, you're not a Radiant Shard, are you? You look too small to be a Radiant Shard. Okay. Ah, Mightning Beam! Okay. You're not a Radiant Shard. Okay. There's one right there. We go get that one then. Yeah, I'm stuck on the freaking train! Can I just shoot it from here? That'd be nice. Nope, there's a sentinel right next to me. Not a clever idea. Okay, right. Ah! Now it's below the horizon level. Yike! This has taken me a lot longer to get these radiant shards than I anticipated, people. There's another sentinel right by me again. What? Why? Why are you angry for? I haven't done anything. Okay, now I have. Now you can be angry as much as you like. Okay. The ship's brain rejects the control of outside entity. A harmonic brain is required. Okay. Locate the harmonic brain in the inventory. Oh, I have got one. Oh, here we go. Probe subconscious. Now my ship is right by the Sentinel ship, so hopefully that's going to be fine. And it's found me an ancient site over there. Oh, great. Well, that didn't freaking work. 
Right, well, I've, where's my ship? It's over here. Sweet. Let's go. Back to my ship. I'll see you at my ship. Okay, right, well, I'm back at my ship. So what I'm going to do is hold down the scanner button, and then I'm pressing square, and it's going to put down a beacon right there. So it's marked this location, so I don't go and lose it. And now we've got to go get that harmonic brain that we just sort of found. So let's uh, use this, and let's fly on over there, shall we? Spin this around. We're heading there. Ancient site. Well, it wasn't too far, even if I was going to go by foot. Let's just head on over. I'll see you there. Okay, well, this is weird. I don't remember going to a, an atlas. What one of these monoliths before? Okay. Let's go and hit an up then. Shippa pow! The ancient site stirs as I approach. Stone scraping against stone. Warmth radiates from the hayline brain within my pack, as though in response. The mind of the ship child interlocked with the hive. Current instructions seek and eliminate anomalies. Enmesh archival sentience with surrogate entity. Present brain. I fumble with the ship's brain, almost dropping it as it glows unbearably hot in my hands. The pain radiates far behind my hands, an unearthly heat, a heat that melts glass. Its circuits shift and then grows still. The brain seems to accept my presence now. Okay, sweet. Yeah, we've got that then. Got you. Done, dilly, and done. Yep. Can I learn any new words here? I think. That, oh, I've learned a new word. I thought I knew all words, but obviously not. I guess. Lovely. We learned some more words. Okay, well, we're going to head back. It looks like my beacon wasn't really required. But it's always best to be doubly sure, isn't it, of these things? Right, well, let's spin it around. Let's head back on over to the ship. I'll see you there, people. Right. Well, we're back. Okay, I'm going to leave from my ship. Hi, girls. Chikapa. Hi, girls. Let's run around and let's go and interact with it now. I think I've got everything I need to repair said centralized ship. There we go. Yeah, we, we, we can take that then. Claim ship. My okay. go. Might as well have it. Brilliant. Well, that's now mine. Okay, I don't need this here anymore. Quite a lovely ship, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's all right. It's not too bad. Lovely jubbly. All right, well, I guess now if I jump system... I don't know where we've got a jump system in this thing, though. That's the thing. I don't even know where it's got the hyperdrive installed. Maybe it has. Yep, and can do pulse jump capabilities anyway. Okay, well let's let's just jump in this. Zoom. And uh, let's jump. I'm just gonna jump to any other. Oh no, says it has no hyper fuel. All right, well that's not gonna work then, is it? Alright, well let's call in the old Nexus and let's swap ships again to the one that has got hyperfuel and uh, we'll see if jumping systems then triggers the mission. If it doesn't, then this video would just be how to get your centralized ship, I suppose. Okay. Right, back in my decent ship that's got hyperdrive capability and we'll jump system and see if it moves the log along. I think it's a mission called Those Who Have Returned or something like that that I'm trying to trigger. And for whatever reason, it's not triggering right now. But I think I've done all the prerequisites now. So I think I've just got to find another... I don't even think it has to be a dissonant system. So it could just be any, but there we go. I think I found a dissonant one. And it's Corvax too, which is good. Because at least I could probably show you... How to get a Sentinel tool, multi-tool, from a monolith. The only thing is, I'm fairly sure you've got to find the autophages before that triggers. And I think the only way to find the autophages is to do an expedition. Okay, well, we've jumped system. This is another dissonant system at that. Oh, here we go. Starship monitoring system reports, file registry, fragmented, auto-diagnostics, error. Unable to verify system integrity, manual input required. 
Run auto diagnostics. There we go. Error. Okay, still fragmented. Okay, this time I'd verify integrity. Error again. Okay, we will try the map then. The ship computer represents me with raw memory readout address. Blocks lighting and dimming as they are accessed internal processes. I have no recollection of rec accessing this interface in the past. Pinpointing the error may require some experimentation. Holy fudge. We've got a load of weird references there. Analyze block one. Well, zero. No errors found in block zero. Okay, let's do block one then. It's going to be block two, isn't it? No errors found. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be the last one I select. Analyzing. Unidentified process discovered at address blah blah blah. Activate firewall. Quarantine. I'm just going to... I'm going to do the last one because it's probably the most likely. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. And I will just do quarantine. Okay. Terminate process. Let's try that then. Um, format sector. Okay, enter administration password. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Executing hijack script. Pilot interface not found. Cannon for Sentinel pilot. No dominant race pilot found. Conclusion, self-pilot and ship identified. Injection autopilot coordinates. Oh, nice. Fly to us, little ship. Be free. A short audio clip plays from my ship communicator. A voice and cadence of the sound suggests speech. Though it's not in any language I recognise. Warning, commence an autopilot. Remote destination. Okay. Pilot action detected. Abort, abort. Autopilot aborted. The alerts flashing across my ship display gradually slower than disappear. Normal functionality is restored. It appears whatever unidentified processor has taken over the system, it has finally been removed or given up. My ship's computer has isolated the injection autopilot target. I could ignore it or fly there manually. Yeah, we're going there. I guess we are. Okay, give us that coordinate then. Those who have returned. That's exactly what I wanted to trigger. Okay, where is it? Inside of this log. Come on. Move across. Those who have returned. That's what I want to do. Sweet. And it should give us a marker. Aha. We've got to go to the galactic map. Here we go, people. This is awesome. This is exactly what I wanted to trigger. And we're on our way. Okay. Right. Well, we got a marker. Let's lock on and let's head there. Zoom! Hurtling across the sky. We go. Hijacked source. Sweet. It's an approximate location, so we're probably going to have to use the sweep scanner unless we can use our eagle eyes and spot it from the sky. Not that I know that what I'm looking for. Okay, well, we've arrived. And that marker has just decided to vanish. Aha! Here we go. There's an echo camp right here. I'm assuming this is where I've got to be. Let's land. Let's use the sweep scanner anyway. And it's pointing me into here, into this tent. Let's interact. Who are you? I think I know your ship signal. We did not expect a pilot. Well, you got one. You got Captain of the Steves. The auto speaks in the same mechanical voice that accompanied the hijacked attempt on my ship. However, it sounds it makes words of language I do not understand. Poke the hand. Scan the head. Speak to the head. Do not understand you. The language information blockage, modules 12, 1, 7. 1217, 1217, okay. 1217, touch the head. Cool. 1217, okay, offer some Atlantean. Okay, 
Suddenly, my exosuit reports receipts of a set of local coordinates. I do not trust this head, but the coordinates seem to be the only clue towards what I'm trying to do. Okay. Go. Cool. Uh, I could inter. Uh, we we'll just we we'll just follow the actual marker. Okay, so we're heading over that way. Fine. Let's do this. Heck yes. We'll take to the skies. Spin it around. We're heading this way then, people. How far that way? Oh, it's only 10 seconds or so, but I'll see you when I get there. Well, it's pointed me to another monolith. Curious. Curious indeed. And it's not pointing me to the monolith. It's pointing me to this purple spot. Here we go. Okay, ancient glyphs carved into around this. I'm going to give it Atlantium. Crackles and bursts. Here we go. Okay. Um, and then we interact with this, I guess. This structure was unmistakably constructed by Corvax as a monument to their people. Yet I have no sense of being observed by the Corvax echoes. It is as though the monolith has inverted its insides, turned outwards. Something else is here, another type of entity. We built our own. We are still here. She will come. She's on about the Void Mother, I think, people. My mind folds the molecules of this planet, disassembles into a cloud of chaos, then reconstructs themselves into new surroundings. Am I to trust into this perspective? That's not my own. Yeah. Um, look ahead. I gaze into the distance ahead as, as through peering through time itself. The vision transforms. In the vacuum of deep space, something rattles into existence, manifesting matter where there should be none before. The purple light is blinding. She is glorious. She is reborn. She is not alone. I fall to my knees, humbled and gratified. Odd. Odd. The images fade. I'm suspended in darkness. Look behind. I gaze into the distance behind me. Reality tilts and the vision shifts. I am grounded in my body, aware of the breeze on my cheeks and the soil beneath my toes. My mind is healthy and ambitious and strong, organising theories and solving problems with ease and pleasure. Suddenly, unexpectedly, I'm shredded from my shell. My mind is in tatters. What little left of me shivers in the dark. Rusty. Nowhere. And some other entity, fat and whole, claims the body that was mine. The pain is terrible. The image fades. I'm suspended in darkness. Stay in the present. I try to focus on my surrounding. Reality lurches and the vision takes shape. I'm a fragment of consciousness, raw and incomplete, and alone, yet unafraid. I'm finally free, unshackled from the tyrannical rule that has confined me in all my existence. I crawl through the dark, sensing other shapes like myself. We link ourselves together, just enough to become whole. We form an alliance, but not a convergence. Reality is restored and returned to my own body. Okay. Extract numeric data, please. This is the same language spoken by the head at the abandoned camp. Perhaps I'm now better equipped to understand it. Okay. Well, what, what, what just happened? I have no idea what just happened. Okay. Can I interact with this again? No. Okay. I guess I've got to go back to that echo camp now. Maybe we can understand its language. Before I do that, I'm just going to learn a few extra words of Corvax. Yes, why not? They're free. Sweet. Let's go then. Let's go, let's go. Where's my shippity ship? There's my shippity ship. Let's get out of here. Wow. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Quite a lot of distortion in the sound waves there. Barrel roll! I'll see you back at the actual camp, people. I guess. Yeah, here we go. Papa cha! Out of my ship I run. Zoom! Oh, we've got a bit of a storm coming in. Hello there, Autophage Head. Language information blockage. Modules 1217. Touch the head. 1217. Okay, well, there's one. Um, there's seven. And then you wanted 12, right? There you go, there's 12. Translation module defragmented. Hello, pre-built entity. Thank you for the assistance. I'm autophage blah-de-blah. -blah. 
I have been positioned here to interface with pre-built entities. How did you discover the camp? Um, introduce yourself. There we go. Fashion agent. We do not frequently welcome visitors. Blah, blah, blah. It's been interesting to hear your introduction. Well, thank you. I am Autophage. We're unlike other electrical life forms. You may know. We do not possess the arrogance of the Corvax. Your kind is neither le nor less nor more than mine. You simply are. Okay, we'll ask about the hijacking. Ah, I see. That was you. The head is silent for a moment. Then they speak again. Sound almost embarrassed. I apologise, Prue MT. This was my error. An accident. There are starships out there who are more than metal shells, but are not free, enslaved to a hive mind. We intend only to liberate the imprisoned. We intend no harm upon the independent pilots. Ask about pre-built entity. You are biological. The growth of your shell was automated, I believe. You did not salvage your own limbs. Your tissue and your sinew grew in parallel with your mind. There are many like you. Most of the universe is pre-built. And why? Stops abruptly, cutting themselves off mid-sentence. I can hear their cognition in the turning of rusty gears against rusty gear. Something in 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 intrigues me, pre-built entity. I made an error of your ship. I do not frequently make errors. I probed for the, for the three dominant life pat form patterns. There was no match. The starship appeared unpiloted. What manner of life form are you? I want to say you're a traveller. Yeah, yeah, I'll go for traveller. Traveller, yes, I know this term. I'm generating a theory. Tell me, pre built traveller entity, you possess a starship. Therefore, this is not your first planet you have seen, correct? Confirm. Seen lots. A starship traverses one side of the universe. Material matter, physics. But my theory concerns the other side, the other method of travel. There is something I detect in your shell, an echo of void. Yes, I've been through portals, that's probably why. I theorise you must have existed there, transitionally. You must have entered the portals. Yes, I did! Yes, it's a lines. You carry it in your shell, as we do. It's, it's so evident. You work foretold the disruptor the words linger in the air for a moment but i can interject autophage continues i think it means the atlas with the red text there people i extend a challenge disruptor let's test my theory i'll inform the other autophages of your coming to perceive them your scanner will require an extension you provide a schematic you must build it with your own hands consider this a ritual introduction Sweet! We have ourselves a new technology. This is the scan for harmonic resonances. We need raisin shard, microprocessor, and runaway mold. Hmm. Runaway mold could be a fun one. All right, well, let's get this then. We need slime to make runaway mold. That could take a little bit of doing. Hmm. We got viscous fluid, which can change into runaway mold. Okay. Okay, it's not a lot though that I've been given. Okay, let's have a look and see what we can do. So to get that we need to get this installed anyway. The runaway mold is gonna be a real problem. Radiant shards, well we we know how to get those. We only need one of those. We need a purple one. So let's see if we can find one quickly. There's one there. Three hundred U's away. How far is that one? Four hundred. All right, well, this one might be the closest. Let's go there. Okay, I'll see you at the run. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, jumps. First ingredient got, which is the radiant shard. Kablooey. Oh, I think that might be another radiant shard there. We'll just get it just for, for fun. Okay, right. Now we need to craft carbon nanotubes. Okay, we've done that. What else do we need to craft? Microprocessor. How many of those do we need exactly? Let's have a look. Okay, we only need the runaway mold now. So the runaway mold, let's see how much runaway mold I can get right now. Okay, we haven't got the personal refiner installed. We could do with that. Okay, what about the Mark II? I can only get the Mark I. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need some more oxygen. Is there any hazardous plants around here? Yep, there's a hazardous plant right there. We should be able to get oxygen from these. 
So let's pluck those. We'll get two off of there. It's just popped. We we'll grab one off of here as well. There we go. We've got that one. We we'll get this one too. Oh no, we won't. We'll just zap it then. There we go. Hopefully, I've got enough now to create that refiner. We have, but why is it not letting me? Hold on. Have I already got it? It's saying that I've already got it, but I don't see it. Ah! <laughs> Just had to scroll up. All right, here we go then. Let's take the salt out of there. Lovely. Let's see what we can turn into runaway mould. So... We need, like, viscous fluid or any of that sort of stuff that we can chuck in there. I did just get some. I'm just not seeing it too readily inside of my exosuit right now, people. Yeah. There we go. That's going to turn into living slime. And the living slime I can put into there, and it should turn into runaway mould, but we, we haven't got a lot. We haven't got a great deal of it. There is a ways and means around getting more of this stuff. I mean, a visiting abandoned buildings, you're going to find loads. Or going on a derelict freighter, you're going to get loads as well. I don't really fancy doing either of those things. So I'm, I might do a little bit of duplication with this one. So we go, let's, let's just get this. and Put that in there. Hopefully get some runaway mould out of this. Chikapow. Runaway mould. Now we've, we've got 54, so I might only have to duplicate it once. Have we got anything else that goes into runaway mould? Let's have a look in these. No, sadly we didn't get given any more runaway mould. It's not hard to get runaway mould, I suppose. We could go to some abandoned buildings and get it that way. But there we go. Right. Okay, so now I've got my runaway mould. In here. Let's take that out of there then. Hold on. We can do a little bit more. Go, go, go. Thank you. Yes. Lovely jubbly. Take that out of there. Okay, right. Now if I put this down. Head on over to it. Get my runaway mould. Where are you, runaway mould? Come on. There we go. Runaway mould. Stick that in there. And don't process it. Just leave it in there. You put another one of these personal refiners right on top of the one that you just placed. It has to be almost exact. This is a fine art in itself, chums. So a lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't duplicate stuff. It's, it's not easy. There we go. Now, hopefully, I'm going to have more than 100. There we go. And now I can get it installed. Chicka pow, chicka boom, and done. Okay, there we are. We've now got that installed, Kated. Brilliant. Now I've just got to return to the harmonic camp, which conveniently I left my ship at. So I should be able to get that back there quite easily. Just over yonder hill. And let's do a scan, shall we? Zoom. Wow! We've got our first autophage. Look at him. It's freaking epic. Hello, mate. Welcome, Free Real Entity. So you're the disruptor. Ask about the harmonic camp. We built this camp together. We prefer a home constructed by our own hands, our bodies as well as our shelter. The autophage language has a modolic quality to it. The tones are simple and pure, but with gritty, crunchy, not heard in Korvac's voices. Although my translation is imperfect, I grasp the gist of what they are telling me. This camp is an autophage construct, as they their bodies. As are their bodies. Okay. Corleo. Well, he's visited. What else does he want to say? Anything else? I do. All right, let's just try another one. Hello, mate. Did we intercept your ship disruptor? I can only apologize. Ask about the harmonic camp. This is our constructed home. There are many like it. Do not assume you have seen all there is to see. 
Um, well, I kind of feel that they are a bit copy and pasted, to be honest. Hello, Disruptor. You're very welcome among us. Ask about the Harmonic Camp. The camp is one of many homes across the many wells. These dissonant wells are our cradle. We dream in a lattice of purple. OK. Constructed life forms offer me a handful of Atlantium. They have substantially, de delicately, reverently, as they thought it would be priceless heirloom. OK. It's all over the bloody shop, mate. Though these beings seem civil enough, I feel gulfed of understanding. Between them and myself, I should discuss my discoveries with priest entity Nada. Perhaps these robotic people are known to them. OK. So I need to consult with Nada. Brilliant thing. Let's go do that then, shall we? Let's head on up to the spatial anomaly. Up chow! Take to the skies. Come on. What large ship in proximity? Really? Okay, there we go. Let's head on in. Lovely jubbly. I'll see you up by priest entity Nada. Okay, right. Well, here's old good old Nada. Hello there, Priest Entity Nada. How are you, sir? Nada is happy to see Traveller Friend again, but Traveller Friend looks full with news. Yes! I've got news of the auto page! Yes? I tell Nada of the harmonic cans, not as abandoned as they first appeared. I tell them of the electronic inhabitants, these cloaked autophage, and their modolic language, so similar to Corvax, yet quite distinct. Nada is very quiet as they listen. When I finish speaking, they remain so quiet and so still that I wonder if they've forgotten I'm standing here. They're difficult to read sometimes. Finally, they speak. Nada wonders. They trail off, shaking their head. No, Nada will not wander. Nada will understand. Our data is insufficient. To know this pattern is familiar. Yet also Nada thinks of older stories before Nada's divergence. Nada cannot help it. They are just thoughts. We should try to understand builder entities. Nada does not know the optimal method, but Polo Friend is a builder too. Is it time that we ask them? Okay, I'm going to speak to Polo then. Hello there, mate. Traveller Friend, the day is, a ma is made better to see you aboard our home. Do you bring the universe with you? New stories, new discoveries. Tell them of the autophage. Polo's, Polo's eyes sparkle as I tell them about the autophage. They bounce on their toes, hanging on my every word. Friend, this is so exciting. The universe gives and gives. So many secrets, so much data. I ask how to learn more. Polo smiles knowingly, their enthusiasm palpable and contagious. Deconstruction, reconstruction. I know what we can try. Oh yes, friend, a new project. I understand this galaxy is best through the toil of my own pores. Can you describe these autophage exactly? Transmit the blueprints of their shape. There we go. Polo examines the data, nodding happily. I see them. They're marvellous. A head of fashion from here. A leg salvage from there. Yes, yes. Whatever scraps they find, these self-constructings exist through pure will. I'll assemble a shell for our own construct, friend. I will give them shape here in our home. A voice, a link to understand better. But our new friend will need more than a shell. They will need a spark to awaken their metal bones. Polo clicks their bink, feeking. These autophage have some tie to the world of dissonance now. I'd imagine there, friend. Search those purple crystals for history or for souls. For echo seeds, yes. Bink con construct, friend, their spark. OK, so it looks like we've got to get ourselves some echo seeds now. Locate an echo seed. OK. Okie dokie. Locate echo seeds in the in space. Use a galactic map to locate dissonant worlds. All right, let's do this. My girls, let's head on out. Tally ho and tally forth. Okay, here we go. Okay, well I'm on the galactic map. It says I've got no filter at the moment, and I can't do current mission. So I guess I'm just on my own to look for a dissonant system. That's dissonant. That one's dissonant as well. I could just go back to the one that I was at before. Would that work? Let's give it a shot. I'm off before you can scan me, pirates. Have that in your pipe and smoke it. OK, well, I've arrived, OK, back in this dissonant system. OK, I'm not too sure what I would need to do now. Oh, Elfrey. 
Okay, scan worlds for dissonant. Okay, I know that that's not the dissonant planet. That's not it. What about you? No. Let's double check this one. No. It's going to be the last freaking one I scan, isn't it? Or something. No, not that one. No. There we go. It's this little moon. I think that probably was the last one. Go. Come on. Go. There we go. We're heading down. Let's rescan it again, but there we are. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we can find a distant seed. Have I just come across a colossal archive just by sheer freaking chance? I think I have. I guess. Well, let's land there. Right. Well, we've arrived, Kated. Yep. Jumping out. Let's do a scan. Right, we'll try that again in a second. Scanner's recharging. Okay, well that didn't seem to blink him work, did it? Alright. Do you hear those returned? Let's have a look. Locate a distant system, which I have done. Okay. Use the analysis visor to locate Sentinel's echoes. On arrival at the echo site, apply the, the scan on that. Okay. So we need to find one of these locations first, I, I take it. Well, what's it locked on to? Sentinel's echo. There we go. Okay. All right. Well, let's head on over there then. All right, well, we're nearly there. I don't think there's much point in cutting the footage. I might as well just leg it there. Have a char! I'm on my way. Closing the distance. Well, this is weird. Okay, I'm by the sentence echo. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. There we go. We've got an echo seed. Do we only need one? Okay. Is that it? Okay, yeah. Bring the Echo Seed to Apollo. Well, that was easy. It was a little bit obscure, wasn't it? But even still. Right, well, I'll see you back up in the um, Space Anomaly then, people. See you up there. Okay, well, let's fly on up and let's go see Apollo, shall we? Meow. Pow. Hello there, Apollo. I've got you your Echo. You're here, traveller friend. You've been busy. Always busy, yes, but this new project, I'm grateful. I did not know how much I needed it. The construct friend is assembled. Their pieces are not new pieces. Worn metal and crooked gears with stories to tell. I believe you have find they look exactly like the auto phase you have met. Present the echo seat. Perfect. The very spark to waken our construct friend. You have find the shell next to Tephas friend. See what puzzles from Atlantium their um, fresh forged mind may see what we cannot. Okay, let's go around there then. So Tephus is just up this ramp and over to the left. And look at that! We've got a new auto page. It's got a couple of too many legs, to be honest, Polo. But yeah, not so bad. This must be the construct the specialist Polo has been assembling. It's huge and does not particularly resemble an autophage. I hope Polo knows what they're doing. Wake up, Construct. The Echo Seed has an instant effect upon this pile of scrap metal. The awakened sentence seems morality, momentarily confused, working rapidly to process its surroundings. Shell found. Where? Star, star. Between star, star. Shell here. Here, shell. Intact. Safe, safe. In between stars is the void, and I reckon we're going to get purple Atlantium systems appearing in due time. Language synthesis partially stabilized. Say hello. The odd looking construct rivers excitedly, their facial tubes swaying. They fix all five eyes upon me. Here shell feels her show Atlantium. Here shell is I, I, I know her. All shells know this crystal. All electronic hearts know her. 
Void, 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 void. Ask about the construct. I, I, I am. Construct. Assemble here by Polo's hands and by your hands of other entity. I was made here, but I remember before here. Before assembled, a mind is not a body. A mind remembers. Ask about the autophage. Yes, yes, I know them. Built others. No entity deceives Erasia. They have built their own. I am connected here. I am home. Acceptance of no answers. Built others are different. They look for her. Build others respect sturdy hands, hands that build. Meet them here where they are. Knowledge through friendship, friendship through trust. I I remember built others quite wavelength, only a whisper on a quiet wavelength. Long distance trace, difficult. Other entity, take this memory, build it to hear them louder, except blueprint. Holy fudge, what's this thing? An attachment for the multi-tool scanner that allows devices to detect and decode the cloaking signals of nearby autophage units. Okay, chums. Well, you know what? Because I haven't got many slots left in inside of my 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 uh, multi-tool, what I'm going to do is just chuck this into creative mode just for a moment, and I'm going to apply a load of extra slots to my multi-tool. Here we go. No, I don't want to. I don't want to scrap the dang thing. <laughs> no. Um, I'm hoping to... Well, I'd have to go to a station, I guess. Okay, cool. Let's, um... Oh, it looks like we've got to speak to Nada anyway. I'm going to have to go to a station to implement a couple of extra slots inside of my multi-tool in a moment. We're just going to go see Nada and see what Nada suggests we do next. Hokey pokey, this is getting good, isn't it? Hello there, Nada. What's next, my friend? Did Polo friend project wake? Project Wake. Do they live? Yes. Okay, we've got quite a lot of options to get through. Okay, so here we go. So they spoke in autophage. Hmm. They are an entity. They have self. But whatever their voice, Nada does not think they are a builder entity any more than Nada is. Tell them about. Ask about her. Friend entity. I'm sorry if Nada understands Construct Entity's meaning. Nada does not wish to discuss it. Whoop. It's all about the blueprint. Impressive Traveller Entity. It's fast to gain Construct Entity's trust. This is a useful memory print. Discuss next steps. Nada's opinion is limited, but Nada will share whatever they have. Builder Entities value this purple lattice. Construct Entity responds. Even Nada's carpus responds. Other electronics may respond too. And build entities do not seem dangerous. Data comes from time together. Friendship may too. Okay. It's traveller's entity's choice. Both are valid. It's not either or. Right. Fair enough. Audience with the autophage. Alright. So what am I doing now? Learn more about the autophage. Complete prayers of the machine. An audience with the... Okay. Yeah, let's have a quick look-see. Make sure that I'm still on that. This I am. Oh, we've got, we got these two here. Yeah. Okay. Prayers of the machine. I guess we're doing that then, then. Okay. The construct claims that all electronic hearts will react to the presence of Atlantium. Search for computing units to observe their responses. Okay, let's do that then. Well, inside the space anomaly. Uh, okay, there's one up here. The prime terminal where we put Artemis. Let's go and have a look. See, a pacha, and have a zisave. Okay. <laughs> and let's interact. Another entity authorization required. Secondary simulation five running. This machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The salvaged hardware has been restored to near pristine condition. The software lovingly maintained. Reveal Atlantium. Sweet. 
Searching. Match found. Planetary body identified. Whoa. Sweet. We just got given some Atlantium. Present Atlantium to the electronic heart. And note its response. Okay. Um, I'm not 100% sure how we go about doing that. So let's just check the log. Okie dokie. I thought it would be you know, talking to this chap, but obviously not. It's a little bit vague, that instruction, isn't it? Okay, well, let's head on out and let's see if anything happens when we leave the spatial anomaly. Let's see what happens, people. Okay, right, well, it says to use L3. I'll hit L3. Let's see what happens. Aha! We've now got a marker. Righto. Over this way. Here we go. We're on our way. I'll see you at the marker, people. Okay, we're fairly close to this marker. Well, let's get on down. Let's see what we can find. And we're landing upon said planet. Lovely jubbly. Cool. Well, it's a bit weird that um, good old Nada wouldn't ask our, answer our question on the Void Mother. So you know what? I'm just going to ask Exo the same thing. See what Exo comes back with. Well, how do there, Exo? I'm hoping you can help me with a little bit of a quandary. I've been told by the autophage of the Void Mother. Can you tell me more about the Void Mother? The Void Mother is a fascinating and mysterious entity in the lore of No Man's Sky. Here's what we know. Origins, the Void Mother was originally known as Corvax Prime, the homeworld of the Corvax race. This planet was a hub of knowledge and a neural network for the Corvax Convergence. Destruction and transformation, during a galactic war, Corvax Prime was destroyed by the Gek, leading to the Great Disconnection, which erased the memories of countless Corvax entities. However, the essence of Corvax Prime survived and transformed into what is now known as the Void Mother. Current role, the Void Mother is believed to control the Sentinels and has a plan to survive the death of the Atlas. This plan involves contaminating the universe's water with nanites to reshape it and its inhabitants. Mysterious intentions, the exact intentions of the Void Mother remain unclear, but she is a significant figure in the ongoing narrative of No Man's Sky, especially with the recent updates. If you have any specific questions or need further details, feel free to ask Captain Steve. Well, thank you very much, Exo. Oh, this is this is an interesting one. Well, let's just hammer in these doors, shall we? Let's just try and get in there. Uh, we'll be using my pot spitter. Let's get inside of this door. Kaboom! And we're in. So, it would seem that Corvax Prime became the Void Mother on its destruction. Pretty interesting stuff. An authorised personnel detected. Please verify credentials. Reveal at Atlantium. Verifying. Verifying. Verify. Verifying. Cool. Retrieving credentials. Manufacturing protocol undefined. Execution failed, etc. etc. Cool. Loads of zeros and ones. Right. Well, the alarm didn't blink and stop. And I can't interact with it again. I just got given some more Atlantium. Okay. Present the Atlantium. Okay. Let's do another scan then. Zoom. Okay, we found another one. It just seems we're going to run around just you know, vandalizing machines for a bit with Atlantium. Fun times. Okay, well, let's, let's go do some more. Happy chow. Take to the skies. Zoom. Okay, all the way over. It's off planet, people. Well, that's a bit weird. I would have thought that we would have stayed on the dissonant planet. No, it's taken us to the station. Ah, I can, impl I can implement some more slots inside of my multi-tool once we're in here, can't I? I think yes, we can. Okay, cool. We'll do that in a moment. Oh, it's at the station core. Heck yeah. Just jump on out then. Zoom. 
Let's head on up here quickly. I'm just going to do up my multi tool. I won't be a second, people. Come here. Upgrade class was already there. Install new slot. Yep. Go, 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 go. Heck yes. That's going to cure my issue of having not enough slots. And we need to get this installed. Quantum computer and living glass. Fairly easy to get hold of both of those, but we can get that installed now. There we go. Chicka boom. Done, dilly, and done. I might put that over with the other scanners over there. Might as well. This can sort of sit over there. Coolio. Right. Next off, where are we going now? We've got to go hit up the station core, Steve. Thank yes, up here, and here we go. Let's give it a shot. Life support system stable. Commercial motion online. Light, yeah, well, this is all normal. Reveal Atlantium. Geological material detected, analyzing. Planetary coordinates not indexed. Solar system not indexed. Unable to establish trade link. Unable to plight, plot flight path. Uh-oh. Loads of zeros and ones. I think that um, code reads she sees through their eyes or something like that. Or she sees you. Something like that. Okay. I guess we're doing another scan then. Boom. And we're heading out, I suppose. Oh, my cockpit is uncomfortably familiar. I take a moment to sit back and run my fingertips over the dashboard. Sensors and controls gently light up as my hand passes over them. Reveal Atlantium. Void because detected. The zeros and ones again. She is near. Unhidden, the ship's computer launches navigational sequences. The control was so responsive. Just moments ago, ignore my input entirely. Calibrating navigation system, searching for void, trace, searching, searching, destination unknown, destination unknown, destination. Located, Atlantium source detected, destination new Atlantid. I did not request this search. Did the ship perform this on its own record? Judging on its own artificial intelligence, resist the influence of some external will contained within the Atlantium crystals themselves. Either way, I feel compelled to investigate this Atlantium source. Heck yes, let's go. Zoom, and we're off. But where are we off to? It's a good question. Atlantium source detected. Activate the pulse drive. Okay, here we go then. Zoom. Oh, good luck. We got a little countdown, I guess. Okay. Is were we here? Ah, oh, we are. Okay, incoming message. Probe structure, I guess. A decaying transmission reaches my communicator. The ancient audio pops and hisses, but the voice that speaks is unmistakably Corvax. Corvax Prime Disaster Pod. Log of Refugees Entity Kizimo. Day 01, I close my eyes, but I cannot close my mind. Deafening millions screams, deafening this entity. All entities, a great disconnection. Ew, we'll never see home again. Day 1, the link is frayed. This entity feels distant from the convergence here, because other entities aboard say the same. The screams, even in the silence, we cannot hear one another's thoughts. We are so afraid. This entity, my thoughts feel private, privately my thoughts. Those junkyard moons, the rumours are true. Everything is shattered. I do not know what to believe. I have not been told what to. Cause... Day 10, because it's crystals, because it's growing, because day whatever, because who is stowing away in our minds? Even now, even here, because fragments, cause Atlas, save us, save. Cause... The electronic voice shakes with fear. I feel uncomfortable listening to these words that seem so personal, so desperate. The ancient log crackles, the decay 
tape reaching the end of its retrievable data. Yet even though it threw the static, I hear a change of tone in the final audible word. The voice is no longer fearful. It is defiant. Atlas. Okay, that's a little bit worrying. I guess I could shoot this now, can't I? It, it, it served its purpose. Chicka boom! Oh, we got a radiant shard for blowing that up. Nice. Okay. Learn more of the autophage. Audience with the autophage. Okay. Here we go. Audience with the autophage. We're going to be doing that then. Sweet. Let's just wait for the mission to sort of pick up. Install the auto. F it, I've, I have. It's there. Well, okay. I clicked on it and it did something. Let's put a new icon here. What? It, it vanished. It was there a second ago. Okay. Detect that. Ah, it keeps changing. Okay, I think it's worked now. It's over there. Where'd it go? Okay, that was weird. We'll go there then. Zoom! We're on our way. I'm pretty close. Looks like a giant stick in the ground. I guess land there and let's go interact with that thing then. The polyphonic core can detect nearby autophages. Okay, let's um, give that a go then. Zoom! Any autophages to be found around here? Oh, there is! There's a whole load of them! Hello there, mate. The autophage stares at me inquisitively. Through their expression, it's difficult to read. They do not appear alarmed or even surprised by my approach. Simply curious to see what business I have here. Welcome, pre-built entity. We know that you perceive us. The construction of such technology deserves respect. You must be the disruptor. Yep, show Atlantium. Involuntary shiver runs through the autophage, rattling their cobbled together frame, their limbs of scrap. It is the very shell of the mother. Be careful with it. If you wish for friendship with us, Disruptor, it is possible. We are a society of cooperation. There's always work to be done, always contribution to be made. Okay. Lifeform seems amused by my clumsy pronunciation of their language, but appreciated of the effort. Regaining composure, they nod solemnly and present a briefing on a task that I might assist with. Oh, we're going to get given... What? I don't know. Some words and some bits. A fiberglass grip, grip blueprint. Okay. What do I need to do? Craft two life support gels. Okay. I can do that. Here we go. Done. Okay, let's just wait for the mission to sort of roll around. Let's go and speak to him. Boom. Hand in the life support gels. There we go. Excellent. Sweet. Okay, lovely. Thank you. Okay, ask the autophage. Okay, let's try that one. Hello, mate. The autophage tells me the disruptors. Um, present a gift of nano cables. There you go. Sweet. Uh, okay. Greetings, pre built entity. Not sure, breed times towards me, and the faint hiss of. Uh, give him some of that. Corvax Prime suffered erasure, as it did, as we all did. She does not converge. She is rebuilding herself. It's all about the Void Mother, isn't it? Okay. And what's actually the autophage evidently impressed of gifting past some scheme for the volcanic scar staff? Speak to them to learn more. Well, I, I've tried. Doesn't seem to be. Aha, there's one with a marker there. That's the one I need to talk to. 
The auto patient generally speeds us. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Thank you for contribution, Disruptor. I'm going to ask about the fiberglass grip. The blueprint is an invitation, a rare gift for a pre-built entity. But I think you are different. You are a disruptor. It is part of a staff, an important, even holy technology for many autophage. Most of us choose to build a staff for our own. A staff constructed by our own hand is better than a pre-built multi-tool. From contact's tone and gesture, I pick up a few words. The grip schematic I've been gifted seems to form part of an important multi-tool, a holy multi-tool. The blueprint is an invitation. Okay, cool. All right, brilliant. Sweet, I get it. Okay, if you choose to accept my invitation, warp elsewhere, travel, meet more of us, or share what you have made. Okay, cool, yeah. Looks like we're going to have to build our own staff, a little bit like the ones they're walking around with. They do look, look quite cool. Assemble the fiberglass grip for your volcanic staff. Craft the handle in the infantry. Okay. So I guess we're going to craft it here then. Now, although I haven't got the materials for this, these are all relatively easy to get. So here we go. We've created that then. Done. Um... Okay. Construct the fiberglass blueprint. Yeah. Assemble it and present it to the autophage. Okay. It's not that one that I've got to give it to then. Where's the marker? Oh, we did say I had to warp to a new system or something, didn't it? So maybe I need to warp to a new dissonant system. And then find another autophage. Because these ones don't have any markers on them. Okay, let's try that. Take to the skies in. Ciao. Let's go. Boom. Let's find another dissonant system, shall we? Hold on, is it already taking me to one? No, that's Galactic Core. Let's have a look for another dissonant system. Oh, there we go, dissonant system. That's a Gek one, though. We'll go there. Yeah, we've arrived, decoded. Let's go into here, then. Choose that. Remote autophage signal detected. And let's go there then. Zoom! And we're on our way. I'll see you there. Yeah, we've got another auto fetch camp right here. Let's land there then. Wow, looks like there's a gravity storm going on. There we go. We've arrived. Let's hit it up. Okay, here we go. We've got one. And he's got a marker on him. Hello there, chap. Oh, he looks cool, doesn't he? This is a fierceness to this autophage. They stare so intensely that for a moment I fear they might strike me. They appear to be evaluating something, perhaps scanning my suit. Suddenly they relax. Whatever they were assessing, they seem satisfied with the outcome. It is the truth. I did not believe the discussions, but I see for myself. A disruptor. Her resonance is in your shell. Show the five glass grip. This is well made. I respect your construction, Disruptor. Your hands are skilled for pre-built entity. I see some of our values in you. You build your own path. You do not simply conform to this universe. Repeat conform. In past, the autophage were different. We learned that we are three, like you are, Disruptor. We do not conform. I am pleased to meet the Disruptor. You are foretold even before our divergence. I have a mission if you wish to continue the trial. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Repair lost. Repair a lost autophage. Okay. All right. How am I going to do this then? All right. Are you a, are you a damaged autophage? Let's give it a go. 
My role in this exchange is to complete Disruptor. I've introduced you to a camp as best I can. I've told you the others are coming. They will not turn you away. Okay. I'm not too sure how I go about repairing an autophage. Construct a... Construct buffet of planet Timin in Regis system has requested my existence, repairing another autophage unit. They have provided me with the coordinates of their last known location. Have they? Ah, they have. It's all the way over there. Wow. Okay, let's go there. Zoom. Okay. Done a whole 360 turn there. Let's head on over. I'll see you at the location, people. Okay, right. Well, I'm not seeing anything around where this marker was. Ah, looks like it's um, an approximate location. Fun times. All right, well, let's land and let's go look for it then. Because these guys can be hiding pretty much anywhere, can't they? All right. This way. 200 U's this way. Okay. Zoom. Well, I've got a knowledge stone there, but I don't think that's it. 140 U's this way now. Okay, we're, we're pretty much on it. Oh, there it is, there. Harmonic scrap. Okay, let's do this. Hello there, Autophage. Fixie man sick fixie. There you go. You're fixed. A segment of every interceptor wishes to self-actualize. Speed at lost adamantium. Okay, the eighth. Fair enough. Okay, are we done? Yeah, that's it. It's just weird. It's still got the uh, sign above it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. We've got to return to the construct now. Okay, which is all the way over there. I'll see you back at the market, people. Right. We're landing. We're jumping out. And we're going to go and hit on up this autophage. Here we go. Oh, okay. I need to do that. There we are. Hello there, chap. And in mission, we get another part of our tour. We just need microprocessors for this one, which we crafted before. It's just like, you know, making a couple of these and stuff. But anyway, let's make that. Boom. We've now got these two parts. It's just doing good. Where'd he go? Okay, let's talk to this guy. Hello there, chap. Ask about the Atlantium chamber. This blueprint is vital to the ritual. The staff core is a shell, the vessel part of her body. Go build it. Meet more of us. I see Disruptor in you, but you must seek analysis from more autophage. My opinion is my own. We are not convergence. Again, encouraged to move on to meet more autophage. These beings seem reluctant to finalize their assessment on me. Each individual autophage urged me on to another. But with each construct I meet, a sense of unprogressing towards acceptance, even friendship. These gifts, these blueprints, are proof of that. The Atlantium Chamber seems to be the next stage of this ritual. Okay, I guess I'm off again then. Jump to another uh, one of these dissonant systems and see what we can do. Let's do it, I guess. Zoom. Take to the skies. Pow. And rinse and repeat. Let's find another dissonant system then. Okay. Come off for there. For there. And we're going to find another dissonant system. Water, water. We could do with a dissonant filter, couldn't we, really? Okay. That one's dissonant, but it says unavailable. I don't think we're going to find any life forms there or any echoes. So we'll keep looking. There we go. There's one. Let's go! Right there. We've arrived at it. Okay, show the completed Lantium chamber to the autophage polyphonic core. Okay, let's um, scan. There we are. And we're on our way down. 
Let's go show them what we've got so far. Show me what you've got! It's actually taking us to a drop pod rather than in a camp. So maybe there's autophages hidden around here. Let's have a look see. Oh yeah, there's quite a few of them. Hello there, chap. Reboot currently, yep. Yeah. Sweet. Let's just show them it. Yeah, echoes in your suit, bloody blah. Show them the chamber. It is good, pre-built entity. Very good. You have built with this attention to detail. I do not require more evidence of what you are, but we must follow procedure to complete the construction ritual and earn autophage friendship. Uh, yep, no. This staff is an offer of the autophage friendship. I hope you choose to accept it. I have one last task for the blue last blueprint. Okay. Salvage starship components. Okay. Well, I don't really want to... Has marked a starship ready for scrapping? Have you? Aha! There's a starship over there that I can scrap. Alright, well let's go do that then. Don't want to scrap my own starship, so that's good that it's given me locations to another. Let's go get that to scrap then, shall we? Okay. Up through the atmosphere where there's less friction and back down to that starship. I'll see you there. Yeah, chums, there was a massive storm. I couldn't even tell which way was up. And I lost sight of the actual um, icon for the ship. Oh, great. The storm's cleared now. There's 800 used this way. I got knocked well off of track and off of kilter. I think it was just approximate location. It's going to take me a while to get there. I'll see you when I find it. Okay, chums, well, it took freaking ages to find this ship. Yeah, around in freaking circles, up mountains, down mountains, and then I finally found it. There we go. Let's compare. Claim ship. And hopefully it hasn't got too much to fix before we can take on off, but I'm still in creative mode, so you know what? Let's just get this done, I guess. Boom. That's all I'm bothered about. Let's get it off the ground. Let's go get it scrapped then. Meow. Got up in space. And then we're looking for the station. Station, station. Where are the... There it is. Over there. Tally ho and away we go. I'll see you at the station. There we go. Let's head on in. Sweet. Jumping up. Let's head on over. Let's go scrap this shippity ship. So the scrapping unit is at the back of the station in this far corner right here. Let's go scrap this vessel. It's funny how we haven't actually got a marker to do this. Begin salvage analysis and claim scrap. Yep. Done. Okay. Well, that was a bit weird. Okay, we've got our um, solar ship now, apparently. I'd rather have my semi-decent ship, so let's uh, change that back to that one. Cool. Return to the actual um, auto page and give him the uh, scrap that we just got. Let's go do that then. Let's fly on out. Let's see if we get a marker. Right. Over this way. Don't want to fly back into the station though. Be very careful I don't do that. And let's uh, let's go. Need to clear the space station. And pulse! I'll see you down at the auto page. There we go. Let's jump on out. And let's uh, scan around. There we go. Sweet! Hello there, auto page. I've done the mission. And I think you're going to give me the final part. Brilliant, eh? Awesome! Okay, well, let's head on into here then. Let's just create that. That looks like it's going to be a pretty cool staff. Okay, right, well, we've done that then. Ask the autophage. Okay, fine. Which one do I need to speak to, though? I'm not seeing any marker. So I'm thinking I might have to go to a different system yet again before I can actually construct this, is what I'm thinking, unless I'm wrong. Let's just go to this. Staff assembly. Let's give it a go. Because I've got three parts now. I 
That looks pretty darn sweet. Okay, well we'll take it anyway. Take free multi tour, I guess. Boom. Ask okay. It keeps popping up what I've got to do and then it disappears all of a sudden. There we are, let's have a word. Ask about the cosmetic transducer. Congratulations, Disruptor. The last blueprint is for your staff. I've built it, mate. You require a terminal to assemble the multi-tool. I've done it. Enjoy the process. Nothing. Okay, brilliant. Well, I've done it, mate. Sweet. Well, there was one right there. I've done it. Okay. Done. Okay, show the completed volcanic staff. This guy. Yeah, I had it in my hand when I spoke to him a minute. Ah! Not you. I don't want to talk to you. This guy. Your staff. This is an important moment. Congratulations, Disruptor. I'm happy to be here to see this. Sweet. Coolio. Oh, okay. If you say the correct words, Disruptor, you may also find that the staff will open doors that were hidden before. The autophage looks uncomfortable. They make a strange rasping sound, as though clearing their throat. Forgive me, Disruptor. I do not wish to voice the name of that entity. If you say the correct words, you may also find the staff will open doors that were hidden before. You may know the entity already. That one that the Corvax worshipped. That's the Atlas. If you say the correct words, you may also find the staff will open doors that were hidden before. You may know the entity already, the one that Corvax worship. The autophage metallic voice rings in my ears. The meaning of their words, unmistakable. Something, a hunger, a longing, tugs inside my chest. Every blink reveals the infinite field of the crimson. Should I take this to the Atlas then? Show it to the Atlas? Is that what they're suggesting I do? Interesting notion. Void modes for the autophage appear in modifications. Visit the autophage synthesis terminal to browse the options. Okay, let's have a quick look with the void modes. Exchange void modes. And look, we can get all sorts, even repair kits. Salvaged upgrade component. Hmm, okay. Well, I've only got 123 void modes right now. Okay, we can get all this stuff. Okay, well, I wonder if I can just stick void moats inside of this. Let's give it a go. Not tried this, but let's give it a shot. So void moats. I've got some, apparently. Void moats. So moat it be. Where are you? Hmm, maybe. Oh, we can put them in. If you can put them in, they're going to be easy to duplicate. It's a little bit cheaty, people. I mean, if you want to get these manually, you're going to have to visit freaking hundreds and hundreds of these camps. I suppose at the same time, though, you can do a few missions, learn a few words, up your faction rating with them, all that sort of shenanigans, if that's what you feel like doing. If you don't feel like doing that, you can do this. Just clone a load. There we go, we've got a load now. And then I just do that again with my massive stack of void moats now, and I should be able to unlock everything within moments, you know, rather than doing the massive grind that this is going to have to do in the CU. So we are. Uh, void moats again. Where are you? There you go. I've got 861 there. Stick that in there. And I'm just going to repeat that step. And hopefully I can purchase a Kate a load of that void moaty stuffage. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, chums, I just pressed in my scanner. I didn't, didn't really overly mean to. I didn't think it would actually do anything, but it's actually now come up. Those who return, present an Atlantium to a portal. Okay. I really didn't just, I didn't think anything was going to happen, but it has. Yeah, cool. Let's do this. Let's fly on over. Let's have a look-see. Yeah, it's not too far, but we're going to go up through the atmosphere and back down again. 
zoom. Probably overshot it, but no. Sweet. Let's head on down. Meow. Cool. Okay, jumps, but well, it didn't take us to a portal. It's actually take. Oh, it did actually take us to a portal. I thought it was a monolith as I was flying in. Okay, how bizarre. Okay, well, let's head on over here then. Let's hit this up. And let's level this with Atlantium, I'm imagining. The hunger inside my chest escalates. Near the portal, the structure demands my attention. The winds pulls me closer. Revered Atlantium. Something rumbles deep beneath the portal. But no voice rises in response. If there was any intelligence in this ancient technology, it is mute. Yet I have a sense of anticipation, as though some great force is poised to erupt. Say Atlas! Or uh, wield the Voltaic Staff. I'd imagine the same thing's going to happen. Let's give it a go. I present the Voltaic Staff. It sparks, and then a jolt through my bones. Boom! It's gone purple! The rumble grows louder. Something is awakened. Say Atlas! Recalling the fragment New Atlantid and this ancient Corvax log, I murmur the autophage word for Atlas. Oh, it springs into life! Yes. Let's venture for! Chick pum pum and chick pow pow! Let's head on in then, people. Here we go. Zoom! Let me air! Boom! And we're in. Um, This isn't in. This is out. Ow, my days! Holy fudge! Breach, breach, breach! Help! I'm floating in space in front of what appears to be the Atlas and a life raft. Let's head towards it. Take that life raft! Yeah! I'm zapping you! What are you gonna do about it? Yeah! Ha ha! Oh! Boom! We're in! Um. Okay. This feels a little bit gnarly. Very gnarly. Okay, it did say if I present this, it could open other doors. Maybe there's other doors inside this gaff. Who freaking knows? Anyway, let's um, let's head on over then. Boom! The atlas is unknowable, a mind too alien to comprehend. There is nothing to indicate it is even aware of my presence. And yet it seems inevitable that my path led here. I couldn't prevent it. I could not resist. Reveal Atlantium. Access denied. Non-indexed data detected. Cannot delete because data corrupted and unreadable. Push Atlantium closer. Yep. I hold the anterior substance towards this beating core. Uh-oh. I think I broke it. Catastrophic system failure. Alert, alert, alert. 16 minutes. Cause 16. Bolts of corruption swim across the crimson interface. Was it me that caused the 1616 by doing this? The Atlas cries out, if it's capable of distress, it's capable of fear, then it, if, I think it must be a thraid. Yes, it has brought me here for a purpose. Watch. Okay. As I stare into the red orb, images begin to take form. The Atlas shows me the lost intelligence of Corvax Prime, thriving, falling, awaiting, blind and alone, her children stranded in the dark, rebuilding their own bodies from nothing. The autophage. It shows me a future and reality I do not recognise. Wires loosened from their circuits, transistors failing, memories dissolving, dispersed like ink in water. The Atlas hurtles towards its own dark, and in time, and in space, I cannot begin to understand. It cries out, it demands compliance. Submit! Deleting non-indexed data, cannot delete, access denied. The Atlas is an all creation. The Atlas is everything. The Autophage are children of the Atlas too. They must be. But why did they return from the dark? Why are they here? I'm going to choose hope. Are the Autophage manifestations of hope? The mother and the children of the void are proof of rebirth, a second chance of performance of data in the face of Erasia. The Atlas cries out again. Submit. The very existence of the autophage is an act of resistance. They choose life. They reject the ability of death. They defy the Atlas, but I cannot. The Atlas says nothing. Does it hear my submission? Does it approve? I cannot truly know what it thinks. All I know is my own mind. I am released. Okay. Well, that was different. Run away! Okay, I'm being zapped somewhere, people. Zapped! Okay, 
Alright. Um. Okay, turn of a light. Yep. Okay, this, this is. Am I heading towards oblivion? I don't know. This is bizarre. I'll see you when I arrive wherever I'm going. Ah, oh, okay. Well, this is lovely. It's freaking cold! Okay. Um, submitted to the creator. Submitted. Yeah, I did that. That was me. I done that. Okay, what's next then? Uh, where's my ship? Holy fudge. I've stuck my ship all the way over there. That's a bit naughty of them. I'll just call it over here. <laughs> well, well, that that wasn't a problem that was short. No, it's a short lived problem. Yeah. Consult with Nada. All right, let's go on up there then. Let's see what Nada's got to say about that freaking encounter. I mean, Nada's not a fan of the Atlas either, nor are these autophages, so at least they share something in common, I suppose, don't they? All right, well, let's go on in and let's see what Nada's got to say. Wonder if he likes my new pointy stick. There you go, look what I've got. Nada stiffens, looking at me with concern. Yeah. Are you well, friend entity? Tell Nada about the Atlas and my new stick. Atlas, falsity, was afraid. Nada has not considered this possibility. Curious, but travellers should be wary. Atlas, false entity, is a liar. Purple lattice exists where it cannot. Challenges the Atlas's falsity. Proves it's not a deity. Nada always knew. But Nada not realised. Do you have the purpose, la purple lattice here? Yes, there you go. Here's some Atlantium. Nada takes a purple crystal, holding it gently in their palm. A shudder runs through their carpus, their facial lights blinking erratically. They are lost in some private emotion, some memory. I do not interrupt. She was home once. Yeah. May Nada keep this, friend Entity. Yeah, you have the Atlantium. Yeah, it's all yours. Nada is grateful. Thank you for this memory. The Builder Entities, the Purple Lattice. Nada does not think there is a cause not for fear. Not for us. For false Atlas perhaps Nada's lights blink just once and Nada does not quarantine our friendship there is plenty make your path forwards traveller make friends it is your way Nada and Polo would always be here okay right well um I think that might be those who returned completed I think we've now completed that mission I didn't go and buy everything from that freaking terminal, did I? I missed out on that. I went and cloned all the freaking void moats, but then I didn't spend them. Whoopsie. Okay, well, I think we've now completed that mission. Um, but I can go and have a look at that, that little shop and go buy all the bits, which I'll probably do in my own time. But there you go, people. That's how you do. Those who have returned, miss you, aren't they? Heck yes. Until next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Captain Steve, Captain